In this video, we'll be looking at a couple of complement and supplement word problems. Press pause to copy down these definitions. When you're ready to continue, press play. Two angles are complementary if the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. This means that if I wish to translate complement of an angle, A, then I would use 90 minus A. Because if we know angle A's measure, then we would subtract that from 90 to find the complement measure. Two angles are supplementary if the sum of their measures is 180 degrees. So if we know angle A's measure, then the supplement's measure will be 180 minus A. So we'll use these two when we translate. Our problem that we're going to be working on is half the supplement of angle A exceeds the complement of angle A by 20 degrees. What is the measure of angle A? So here, where we have supplement of angle A, I'm going to translate that as 180 minus A. Exceeds is my verb, so that's where my equal marks go. And then complement of angle A will get translated as 90 minus A. So let's write our equation for this word problem. Half the supplement. And this is like half of the supplement, and of we know is multiply. So half the supplement of angle A exceeds, and that's our verb, so that's where the equals goes the complement of angle A, so we'll translate that as 90 minus A by 20. Now if it exceeds, that means this is more. So if this side is more, I'm going to have to add 20 to this side so that it'll be equal. That's what an equation means, is the two sides are equal. So let's review. We have half the supplement so one half times the supplement. Our verb is exceeds. That's where the equals goes. And if the left side exceeds the right side by 20, that means I have to add 20 to the right side to keep it equal. And then our complement is 90 minus 8. All right, let's distribute this one half through the binomial. So one half of 180 is 90. And then one half times A is one half A. I don't need these parentheses, so let's just copy this expression. I'll need to combine like terms. 90 plus 20 is 110. And I'll copy the left side. Let's add A to both sides. And this will cancel. And I have 90. When I have a negative one-half A and a positive A, that leaves me with a positive one-half A. And on the right side, I have 110. Let's subtract 90 from both sides. This cancels. And I have... 1 half A on the left side equals 20 on the right side. Now to get rid of my 1 half, I could divide both sides by 1 half. I'm going to 
multiply both sides by the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 1 half is 2 over 1. These will cancel and I have A is equal to 40. Let's do another one. Again, supplement of an angle, we'll put in 180 minus, and this is angle B, so this will be 180 minus B. Is is my verb, so that's where the equals goes. And then complement of angle B, I'll put in 90 minus B. I have 2 times the supplement is, now this is a little tricky when you see uh, some number less than something, um, caution here, when you see less than, that means you need to take this number and move it to the right a little bit and subtract it from something. So the thing that I'm subtracting it from is seven times the complement. So seven times the complement. So be very careful when you see the words less than, take this number and move it to the right and put a minus in front. Let's distribute. We have 2 times 180 is 360 minus, and then 2 times B. And distribute on this side. 7 times 90 is 630 minus, and then 7 times B. And then just copy the minus 220. We'll combine like terms. So I'll copy on the left side 360 minus 2b equals 410 7b. Let's add 7b to both sides. And this will cancel their opposites. So I have 360 plus 5b equals 410. And then subtract 360 from both sides. This will cancel. 5b is equal to 50. And then divide both sides by 5. The fives will cancel. And I have B is equal to 10.